If they're gonna cancel me, they're gonna cancel me. I don't care. Go ahead, do it. Why are we gonna talk about it? You know why. This is the Randy Savagery Show. It's about the love. It's about the passion. I just get a buck. I'm trying to make it through life, but this shit is tough. Every day we meet a different. And welcome to the Randy Savagery Show. Come on, come all. Come everybody, come short, come fat, come tall. Um, what up, y'all? What's poppin'? Thank you for joining me today. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to the people that have sent me donations. I never thought that I would ever make any money off of my podcast. Not a dime, not a thing. So it means a whole bunch to me that you guys did that. Um, it's actually a pretty nice amount so far. So I really do appreciate it because yeah, everything I do, it, it does, it, like, you know, it's expensive. It costs a good amount of money. <clears throat> um, the lighting, the production time, um, the cameras, you know what I mean? Uh, bringing you that crisp, clean audio or that, that uh, high visual face even if it's night, day, you know, how I do for you, I can bring it, and I do bring it, and uh, I'm, it just shows that, like, my hard work um, is appreciated, I guess, so, thank you, um, man, though, yeah, so I was, um, ooh, I was looking at the price of groceries i was looking at the price of groceries today man and um anybody notice hike anybody notice a hike in the cost dude like i was looking actually at like different um apartments as well you know because you know always got to stay up on the market and i think I'm, i want to be moving pretty soon um Dude, a one bedroom in uh, Oakland County in Michigan, it cost, I think it started at $750 to $900. And then uh, the two bedrooms went all the way up to $1,200. And I was thinking, man, like I just got my lease last year, last year where I am now. And, uh, you know, it's $800 for a two bedroom. So it's crazy to me how much it costs so much more, but they're not paying so much more. You know, like a, a normal factory job right now is hiring at like 20 bucks an hour. I think that's $3 more than it was before this price hike. But the price hike, dude, is uh, it's no joke. It's a lot, it's a lot of cashola. And I don't think that it's equaling, equaling out, like the, how much that they're paying more compared to how hiked up that price is. You feel me? Hmm. We got that nighttime cam. We got that nighttime cam. We got that shadow cam. Perfect face shot, though. You know what I mean? Although you can't see really too much else. But hopefully it gives it like a cool spooky vibe, you know? I saw that if I go, boof, face is gone, you know, but spooky vibe if I sit with, uh, with correct posture. So, um, yeah, dude, I mean, trust me, this hat, this red hat, it's no MAGA hat. It doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say Trump forever, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a conservative or a Democrat or any of that, you know, that's like two, two different wings to a bullshit bird, baby. And, uh, 
you know, that's for the birds. I don't even eat bullshit. I like steak. You know, somewhat of a separatist if you ask me. No, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so, like, I don't like Donald Trump, but, dude, everything was way cheaper back in the Trump day. You know, like, uh, like, there was a lot of media. Like, every day the media would, like, bombard us with how much he's, like, you know, the devil. You know, that's really what was annoying and like put me on edge like you turn you turn the fucking you turn the bleeping tv on and it'd be like you know trump about to push the button on afghanistan bombs and like you know he did he did that one wild thing where he he killed the uh, asalami asalayama or whatever i can't remember his name anymore but uh you know, fact checkers, fact check me. Uh, he like drone striked him at an airport. And when I looked into the official report, I'm pretty sure it killed three people. So I'm pretty sure it killed some civilians too, you know? To me, that's that boo-boo behavior. I'm not into that, but you know, if if a drone strike to a couple uh, Afghani civilians is what's gonna take, you know, to bring me bring my McDonald's bill back down to six dollars God Ugh. it's just extraordinary it's extraordinary people I'm feeling the squeeze I'm feeling that squeeze <laughs> that democratic pocket squeeze you know we'll have these niggers voting blue for a hundred and fifty years. And they are, they do too. It's crazy too. I don't understand. Like, I, and honestly, and it's it's crazy. Like, if I talk to a black person, I look over and be like, "Hey, man, shit's fucked up right now, huh?" They'll be like, "Yeah." I'll be like, "It was a lot cheaper before, huh?" And they'll they'll end it with, "Man, I'm just glad I ain't got to hear that motherfucker's mouth no more." And I'm like, "Ah, avoidance." God, you know, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, I've said it once, I'll say it again, I don't care, necessarily, um, when I look back at when I was growing up, I look back, I don't, I don't think about how I was like, man, oh man, I remember when my mom made me start exercising, and uh, there was a time when, like, uh, her boyfriend at the time, he made me walk, which probably, like, maybe 2.3 miles, right? Not even that far, but I was really overweight. I rem- But it was really hot, too, though. It was, like, 90 degrees. It was hot outside. I remember just crying and still walking, feeling out of breath. It was so hard. You know, and this cat, he just had his hand in his pocket, you know, ignored my emotional responses, uh, calm, cool, not, like, picking on me but not helping me either you know I had to just dig deep and looking back at that experience like you know what I, I don't remember uh thinking like oh man what a piece of crap like piece of garbage trash and like oh I hated him so bad I look back at that and I'm like oh I grew from that experience very powerful actually I, I and I I think back and think man I'm thankful to uh him for that you know but um, I don't, I don't, uh, he doesn't even remember that. You know what he remembers me being a little brat about it. Probably thinks, man, that kid fucking hates me and that, man, he was a little brat, you know, who knows? But that powerful experience, I get to draw off that and he doesn't even know. So all I'm trying to say is like, I don't care if my president's an asshole and when he's in, and when he's in, uh, office, like that, I'm like, man, this guy is so mean and he hurts my feelings. You know, he's saying mean stuff. That's not really my uh, M.O. to care about, really. What I really care about is like when I wake up in the morning, yawn, and I go to work, how fat is the paycheck? How low are the grocery bills? And, uh, you know, uh, how high can I push my standard of life? You know? Because right now, it's like dirty, grimy, and businesses are like, getting robbed, which means they're not acting accordingly to even correct, you know, uh, consumers that aren't breaking the law or trying to rip them off. They're now ripping us off. They're trying to get over on us, you know? 
and it's wild. It's wild to me. I can't even, um, you know, I can't even put a time stamp on it, you know, of when it all really whoop, did the flippity flip, but it, it was after, it was after they kicked the orange man out and brought in the, the dead one, you know, weekend at Bernie's, I'll tell you that. We can have Bernie's. He's alive enough to know how to kick prices way the fuck high. God darn it, dude. I want to swear less and go higher in the algorithm. I want less swears, more algorithmic uh, bites or whatever, you know? I don't know. But <clears throat> I'm just glad I got the sound right for you guys because the first anchor... One that I uploaded, I, 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 I listened to it, and, and I, I really do got to apologize. It, certainly, it sounds like a, like a wind tunnel. Just, it's horrible, man. It is not a, uh, a joy to listen to, but this one actually seems as if it will be a joy to listen to. So I'm hoping that we don't have any uh, negative sounds or anything like that. Um... Ooh, I did want to do this, though, because I, in my mind, like, sometimes when I'm doing my podcast, you know, I'm like, well, sometimes I'm like traditional new age, like cyberpunk podcast, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you know, check me out my promo code and, you know, all that. Twitch live, by the way, uh, twitch.tv at Randy Savagery 92. Check me out. Um, but also... You know, I like the the sultry, old school style that, you know, that FM, that AM, baby, that FM in the AM, mojo in the morning, that kind of thing, you know? So uh, I'll probably uh, find a couple of, oh my God, dude, I'm sorry, guys, I thought that I already had, uh, I thought that I already had the Bluetooth set up. <clears throat> and I'm a little bit embarrassed. I feel a little bit kind of like a piece of trash because I was making fun of the mojo in the morning guys, kind of, and then I, I was the one who was not prepared, and I don't like getting caught with my pants down. I like to get caught with my pants up and then be asked to take them down for sucking you know? That's really, that's usually where I would be focused with my pants. But all right, let's see. I think I got to connect an hour because this is a time, because sometimes it still doesn't work when you're driving, you know? And I bet some of you know, you try to connect your Bluetooth and it's got those like, those saving rules so it doesn't have any type of like, I don't know, negative effect or something like that. I don't really know. But, um, Oh, yeah, so you don't, like, crash your car is what I meant. Not when I said negative effects. Sorry, I kind of trailed off there. But um, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I want to see uh, what would it be. Copy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to play this, like, um, not the chill because the chill doesn't show up. I wa I'm going to do this a little bit like a DJ, you know, because I, I don't see too many uh, podcasters do it like that, but I, I, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to put like a, a beat on and just sit back. We're going to listen to the beat and I got to do it copyright y'all. I wish I could put on like something new for you. You know, I really do, but I think this is all we got right now. So, <clears throat> you know, you're with Randy Savagery in the morning. Ah. Uh... Sit back, relax, and remember to check out Honey Dip Hair Care products. That's right, Honey Dip Hair Care products. This right now is a completely free promo that I'm shouting at as one of my personal favorite hair care products. They don't even pay me any money, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still shouting them out right now. I'm just doing it from the bottom of my heart all the way out because you want to know what? They keep my hair looking fresh. They keep my hair looking sultry and got that wet look and just feels just thick and full and healthy. So check them out, honeydiphaircare.com or on Facebook or it's one of those places. All right, let's go.
Ooh, what up, what up, what up, and welcome back to the Randy Savagery Show. <clears throat> and she's right, little mama was talking about the financial world. It is coming to a shaky ground. As our USD currency is rapidly declining and cryptocurrency is rapidly inclining, we are having quite the dynamic shift of power in the game that is currency. So as I was saying before that song, that beautiful little, uh, you know, melody, um, right now we are dealing with basically what will end up being either a recession or uh, deciding, you know, if it's going to be, I don't know what you would call it, like that the quantitative, I think it's called, quantitative easing, maybe, is uh, under correct balances, that will do fine. I don't know. I don't see it that way just because, you know, I've been alive a pretty long time and, uh, well, not that long, ladies and gentlemen, you know, <laughs> but long enough to, you know, buy gasoline in the, in the early 2000s. So I remember, you know, in those prehistoric days back when flip phones were a thing, and I'm not talking about the ones with two screens on both sides, baby. You know, that, um, that was, that was a different time. And during that time, I remember how much gas was. And I remember, you know, different years would have different spikes. And I remember when um, Obama came in and things kind of went up or whatever, but it was never to the degree that I am at right now, especially when it comes to property. So this whole thing, I don't know if you guys have looked around. I mean, yeah, like private sellers for homes obviously are still there through like, you know, um, your real, your real estate agent, et cetera, whatever. But there used to be private renters, right? That was a thing. People used to own like, you know, duplexes and they would rent out to different people and whatnot. But it's interesting because now, now it's like you have to rent through, um, agencies. Everything has been bought up by agencies. Now there still is actual property owners, right? But what they do is that they, you know, they take a percentage. Obviously it's small to them or whatever. I don't really know, but I would assume because like through my mom's insurance company, uh, you know, they probably are losing, probably losing like 35% of their profits to the mutual property management company, you know? And it's interesting because what I've seen is like these people through these companies, they are backhanded, right? So personally right now, I'm experiencing through my management company, uh, what is known as I think, um, give me a second to really think about it. It's hard to remember. It, it's called, uh, anti oh geez louise uh, i'll just explain it to you guys basically oh retaliatory yeah anti-retaliatory um eviction or and yeah because it's supposed to be under eviction so anti-retaliatory retaliatory eviction notice right so basically a landlord in michigan under michigan law like let's say you uh, let's say there was black mold on, on like the wall or there was some type of either lease agreement, like liability that should be taken care of or a health code violation, right? Let's say it's one or the other. You as a, as a, um, what's it called? Like as a renter, it's your right to get those things taken care of, right? Now, some landlords or some people, have, as some people have called them, slumlord trash shitbags, right? They 
will do something called a retaliatory action. So let's say you force them to come out of money, but it's not your fault. It's something that they have to take care of according to the law, right? What they can do is now, you know, terminate your lease or evict you, right? Or something like that. Legally, they cannot, right? And under the law, the only thing that they can do is, you know, come for your uh, lease renewal. They don't have to resign it. So in my personal situation, I came to a point where um, I was basically cornered by friends and family members to go to them with a health code violation, right? And I didn't want to do it because I was like, listen, these people are not, you know, they're not right, you know? And I wasn't, I didn't follow, I got pressured and I felt, you know, like it was the responsible thing to do, which it was by law, you know? And what they do is that it was right like a month before the lease signing. So my manager, right, the property manager, not the owner, calls me before he knows the health code violation. He says, hey man, we're gonna renew your lease. I talked to the, you know, the owner, everything's cool. He's gonna sign you. He's not even gonna bump your rent up because rent's up, which it is. I looked around. I said, everything sounds good, man. Once I heard that news, verbally on the phone, I don't have that part recorded. I tell them, bada bing, bada boom. I send them the evidence. Everything changes. I receive an email four days after that from the office manager stating there will be no renewal of your lease. You know, you must vacate the area at a certain date. So it's like, mm, I don't know. I think according to loophole, they might win it no matter what. Like it's, it's, it might be his choice. Um, I think that if I would have had recording of him saying that and then getting the email, it'd be really concrete. But I'm still gonna bring the evidence at hand because I have all the proof of the health violation and then I had the dates of getting, you know, uh, you know, told when I have to vacate. And it is, um, I guess it's just unfortunate to see, you know, how dirty how dirty people will, will treat each other these days. And it, it really seems like it comes purely through the mechanics of technology. You know, nobody has even talked to me face to face. And I've laid all the evidence that I have out, the receipts of the health code violation and whatnot, the dates, everything uh, labeled, signed, sealed, and delivered. And I've sent it literally to every email for uh, this company and still nothing. So you guys go ahead, leave it in the chat. Let me know if you think uh, what I did was, you know, if I was, if I did the right thing, if I did the wrong thing, if you guys can even, even relate with this situation, you know? I, this, you know, what I'm going through, I say stuff like, what's going on with our world? I might be wrong, you know? I might just be dealing with one isolated bad cookie but, um, you know, if I'm not, if this seems to be like a trend that these, these property management companies are buying up all the real estate and then they treat human beings like commodities. And, uh, you know, even if the law dictates that they need to take care of something, if they can find a way to cut their losses and get a noob in, it's like, man. Also, duly noted, I have one smoke violation, just so you guys know, and one late fee on my rent. Never missed a rent, never have done anything, always paid in full, paid over. It's, um, it's unfortunate, but I did want to voice, you know, my opinion to the world and also just see if anybody else is dealing with some, you know, bullshit ass, uh, lands, or slum, bullshit ass slumlords, you know? Sorry guys, I saw I was getting a little too loud there. Be yelling, I be yelling, old yeller. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's gonna wrap this episode up, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys, you're my goddamn therapist, I swear to God, you know? 
in a way, different kind, like my ghost therapist. All I know is that I got mad love for all of the people who watch my show. I got mad respect for any person who uh, touches my show. All the donations, any donation, I will accept all donations because it's like the best way to get paid in this community. And also, thank you for everything that I've gotten so far. I'll talk to y'all. Peace, love, hope, all that. Good.